Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at the brand new REST machining provided by 1CNC XR5. Now, in previous versions of 1CNC, you could only REST machine once. With XR5, you can REST machine as many times as you'd like. Let me demonstrate. Now, what I'm about to show you applies to both our stock toolpaths and model toolpaths, but for this video, let's focus on stock toolpaths. So, within the main menu, I'll select stock toolpaths and from pocketing we'll go with high speed pocketing. I'm going to select the pocket manually. I'm just going to grab that shape right at the bottom of the pocket. Right hand mouse click. Let's use a large tool. How about a 1 inch 125 diameter end mill? Not too worried about speeds and feeds right now. Our depth of cut looks good. We'll use high speed close. We don't need to worry about rest machining yet. We're going to ramp in at 45 degrees. All this looks great. That looks good. And so there's the tool path. Alright, so now let's repeat the same process using a smaller tool and we'll rest machine. So I'm going to grab exactly the same operation. We're going to pick manually. I'm going to grab that shape right at the bottom there. Let's use a smaller diameter tool. We'll say this is turret position number two. All that looks good. But now when it says rest machine, if I click this little down arrow, this is going to list all of the previous operations that are accumulated over here within the NC Manager. You can see there's only one operation here, so it displays just one. So this is the operation I want to rest machine. That looks great. So I'll go ahead and just click through this, and there's the toolpath. Let's do it again. We'll come back in. Again, we're going to pick manually. I'll quickly grab that bottom shape. Let's use a smaller diameter tool. How about 0.75? We'll say this is in turret position number three. All that looks good. Now we're going to go to rest machine and notice how it lists two operations. And these are the same two operations that are here. I'm going to grab the number two operation because that's what we want to rest machine. All the same looks great. So we'll just right click through that. Let's do that one more time to wrap up the video. We'll go back in. We're going to pick manually. I'm going to grab that shape right there. Let's use how about a half inch diameter end mill. This is going to be in turret position number four. And you get the idea now. We'll come down to rest machine. I'm going to rest machine that last operation right there. All that looks fine. We'll click through and then there's the toolpath. Let's simulate this. We're going to right click up here and we'll select simulate. And we're going to pick a boundary. All that looks good. Let's pick this outside boundary right there. There's the one in 125. Boy, that happens awful fast. Let me, let me slow that down a bit. Rewind. So I'm taking just one depth of cut just to speed up the demonstration here, but this is the 1 inch 125 uh, diameter end mill, taking the brunt of the material out. Now we're coming back in with a 1 inch diameter end mill. There's our 0.75 diameter, and then we're going to finish up with a half inch. And you can just keep on going if you'd like. This is the half inch diameter right here. So that's it. Within 1CNC XR5, you can perform uh, multiple rest machining. It applies to both your stock toolpaths and your model toolpaths. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.